Then you want to keep going. They didn't get you the supervisor, bro? This is the supervisor. Did you read the rules? Did you read the rules? I know the rules. I don't think so, because you you make some mistake in it. No, I'm not mistaken. They're over there in the wall, miss. I know the rules. Go read them. Go read them. I know Go read them before you tell me about my camera, all right? You work for the public, and this is a public entity. You're supposed to have transparency, and we pay for this. This is funded by the public. Relax. Do your job. Exactly. The public funds this. So we're supposed to have transparency. I'm going to show the world how you treat the people. Okay. All right, so don't be hiding from the camera. I'm not hiding. All right. I'm, you're recording me and I'm talking to you. Exactly. And you have to go read poster seven. I'm doing my job. Go read poster seven then. I'm doing my job. I'm going to poster seven. You put it, the one is from 2007. You need to upgrade it. That's our old one. Stop playing with me. Hi, my name is Bobby Arizari. I live at uh, West 153rd Street. Uh, Jason from the um, post office. We've lived here about 13 years now, and we've noticed an extreme issue here. Now. And we've noticed an extreme issue here, which is not right. Okay. If we're not allowed to park there as pedestrians, why should you guys? Okay. If we're not allowed to park there as pedestrians, why should you guys? I've called the postmaster. Mm -hmm. Got no time. You get no money. answer from the postmaster. Um, sir, we'll get back to you. We don't get back to us. I got everything on email. Uh huh. Okay, and it's it's just not. And right. you get no answer from no. Them. There was a, there was a gentleman here a week ago, a dark skinned brother, mm -hmm. kind of kind of um, elderly. He tried to march his way by saying, "Oh, um, we oh, um, we're gonna change. We're trying to get." This is 13 it's years. Bro. Explain, explaining. This is 13 years and no changes. Nothing. No changes. Oh, we got the owner of the car here. The car's on, my peeps. How you doing? You work at the post office? No? Huh? Well, why are you recording? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? So why you told me you don't work at the post office when you do? What are you doing? Why are you recording me? What are you doing? First of all, First of all, you too close. I'm too close? Know so why the fuck you came out the car for? You the I one getting it. close. Move back. What are you recording me for? Who are you? If I smack the shit out of that camera, I'll be wrong, right? If I smack the shit out of that camera, I'll be wrong, right? Who are you? If I smack the shit out of that camera, I'll be wrong, right? I'm here for you. Do not engage. Do not engage. That's a smart move. You heard that? Look at this shit, my people on the sidewalk about to hit the Be careful, there's kids behind you, bro. It's crazy. Look at this, my kids. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing an investigation on the post office. I don't know, but to see how they behave. Yeah. I was sent over here by the people. By your boss. He'll be here once you see the video. Thank you. Thank you. Bring the postmaster here. He's gonna come. He gotta see the video though. By your boss. Who? What you talking about, man? Look at skinny boy. I'm working, brother. You got a problem with the camera? Who, you crazy as hell, man. Keep it moving, bro. Yo, keep it moving, my G. Get your weight up before you talk to me, bro. Get your weight up before you talk to me, bro. She's a lady, man. How she's backing you up? She's a lady, man, so she's not holding you from doing nothing. Come out here and do it. There you go. That's it. Don't let her hold you. Yeah. People's guys, subscribe to his service. Right. <laughs> work. We gotta get them up. Get them subscriptions. Get them vibes up. I've been to jail 50 times and 50 times I didn't do shit. Out of those 50 times, they gave me 50 deals of bullshit. And after all this happened, yeah, you see me, I'm fine. I had to start from zero more.
more than 50 times. Right, let me see that shit, man. I'm from LA, fool. I'm from LA. Search that shit. Ah, uh, no right shit. Right there, right there. The okay, first one. Subscribe bro, to my shit. Subscribe. Let me see. Subscribe right there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Subscribe, right there. subscribe to my shit. Already done. Oh. I don't yeah. fuck with dirty cops. You heard? I always have to take Eli's. Oh, Eli's. There. Yeah. It's because they hate you. They hate me, right? There you go, man. Love you. Shit up. I love you too, man. What's your name, bro? Animal. Animal Eli. They say, man. Okay. Okay, okay, stay up, man. I put the tattoo on my shirt. I put the tattoo on my shirt. On my shirt. On my shirt. Say what? Easy, my man. I'm trying to be okay. Yeah, that's the people's guy. I want an agent P. The mother people's guy. I don't bother nobody. Yeah, that's the people's guy. So you don't bother me. The mother people's guy. I'm trying to be okay. Yeah, that's the people's guy. You go with me, man. <laughs> That's the time we do that. You know they sneaky. They come in fast as hell, bro. Yeah. Have a good day, bro. And fired one shot, striking 28-year-old Atatiana Jefferson. He said he called a non-emergency number out of concern for his neighbor. Man down. Smith believes she man might down. still be alive if he never dialed for help. They always pull up ready to take a man down. Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really trying to get me killed? They always pull up ready to take a man down Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really trying to get me killed? They always pull up ready to take a man down the same thing, I'm sick of the same game They're killing my peoples and I be feeling the same pain You better listen if you never seen it They're getting exposed and I'm gonna scream it 
They was doing us dirty, but now technology came So we could see what they do, that's how we know who to blame His partners understand, disrespecting the old The people understand, so we burning them both Public execution ASAP Man down, it's what they all deserve Man down, we gotta get them out They always pull up ready to take a man down Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really trying to get me killed? They always pull up ready to take a man down Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really trying to get me killed? They always pull up ready to take a man down Man down Man down They always pull up ready to take a man down The prosecutor Dirty. The lawyers is corrupt Police getting away with it Then Eli interrupts So why you think I'm getting loud with it? I grew up getting locked up And I'm not gonna ride with it I'm not allowing them to take my time no more I'm not allowing them to give me fines no more I'm not allowing them to talk to me I'm not allowing them to take my life I'm not allowing them to take my time no more I'm not allowing them to give me fines no more I'm not allowing them to talk to me I'm not allowing them to take my life Man down Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really trying to get me killed? They always pull up ready to take a man down What's going on? What's going on, my peeps? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody healthy. We got to got a job. If not, keep looking for it. You heard Eli over here. Post office. Harlem. The hood. Doing a delivery around here. I usually come here every other day, and I be looking at this post office. And every time I see it, I think of you, my peeps. And it's about that time. Every time I came through here, I never had the time. I was like really busy with a lot of deliveries. But I just did my last one, so now we got time for them. Let's um see if they respect. The First Amendment, my peeps, they respect our right to record in public places, public lobbies, public sidewalks, public buildings. You heard? Just give you a quick tour to see how it looks. By the way, I need two stamps, my peeps, you heard? I need two stamps. What better place to get a stamp other than the post office, my peeps? There's no, oh, look at this, look at this, yeah, yeah. What are we doing here, what are we doing here? Sidewalk and shit, we bossing, my peeps? Stop playing with me, that's probably the supervisor. I might have to holler at him, you heard?
So, let's go inside, my peeps, because I need two stamps, and I'm trying to send a few mails, and I need them stamps, my peeps. I got two stamps. She 
just trying to call y'all, but y'all not answering. What the fuck, man? So, how how is she just gonna get the package if she's con if she's constantly at work and when she get home it's closed? She give me the ID. She gives you the ID and you come to pick it up. I'm not coming back over here. She don't do it. She, I know she did it before, but she don't want to do it again. You did it before, Listen, miss. But ask a supervisor, okay? Because I don't have the authority to do that. But you did before. I've never That's done it. She know you. She I've said, never done it. You did it before. I've never done it. She just told me that you did it before. She seen me? You know her. Who is she? Call the supervisor. Talk to the supervisor. Can you just call your supervisor? Yeah, please? yeah, yeah. Speak to the supervisor because they're being some bullshit. Man. You did it before, like, come on now. Speak to the supervisor. Right, she's like. about me bringing it. I'm going get, to get it home. Just give me my package so I got to come back. Like, facts, facts. Come on, man. What's up? What's going on? I don't know. You're looking like something up. What? We had a package. Well, what's wrong from, with this uh, people? Come to Amazon. We go and get it. So then she knows me out. Now we're trying to get it back. She don't know me. Because yeah. last of y'all don't do me. They're not delivering. They're not doing no more delivery. So we're trying to pick it. Y'all not trying to re-deliver it back to the crib. So I'm coming here to pick my package up. But the person's name on the package is my, uh, my wife. So I'm showing Thank you, brother. You got it. And she's on the phone. Post a seven at my piece. We we'll post a seven at it. Not here. Yeah, you hold me. Thank you. Hello, okay. And let me, me. Hello. Here it is. Here it is, my peeps. This old as hell, my peeps. They didn't get you the supervisor, bro? This is the supervisor. Did you read the rules? Did you read the rules? I know the rules. I don't think so, because you, you make some mistake in it. No, I'm not mistaken. They're over there in the wall, miss. I know the rules. Go read them. Go read them. I know Go read them before you tell me about my camera, all right? You work for the public, and this is a public entity. You're supposed to have transparency, and we pay for this. This is funded by the public. Relax. Do your job. I'm doing my job. Exactly. The public funds this. So we're supposed to have transparency. I'm going to show the world how you treat the people. Okay. All right, so don't be hiding from the camera. I'm not hiding. All right. I'm, you're recording me, and I'm talking to you. Exactly. And you have to go read poster 7. I'm doing my job. Go read poster 7, then. You put it, the one is from 2007. You need to upgrade it. That's an old one. Stop playing with me. I'm sorry, miss. That's okay. Yeah, but I'm here just to show the world how they treat you, to make sure the process is smoother and that they treat you so, in a good way, all right? It's nothing she can say or nothing she can do to get my package out of it. Poster 7 is right here, my peeps. She said she was the one who put it. Stop playing with me. She put it, but she didn't read it. And it's outdated, my peeps.
Sorry. I couldn't understand her argument, my peeps, but you saw that, you heard it. It makes no sense. Thank you. 
no lo quedan entonces. Porque él me dice a mí que aquí no hay nada. Ese fue el paquete, porque el paquete yo recogí ayer. Ah, pues ya me diré que te manden el, la numeración del de, de paquete. Ah, no está bien. Ok. And this is kind of dark too, my peeps. We're missing a lot of lights here. Let's count them up. This one's burnt. This one is out. This one is out. Three. Four. Then we got four that are on here. Five over there. Six. We got like six lights on, so it's, that's why it's a little dark in here, my peeps. Back chick chatter. Meanwhile, we got the people here waiting, my peeps. to the camera.
Oh, there's another light out. We good? Alright. Alright. Just making sure you know my rights. We good? <laughs> Stop playing with me, you heard? Have a good day. A lot of people gonna see you, man. Be nice, bro. They're not gonna like you due to your attitude. Unfortunately. And you're the supervisor? You're the supervisor, man? Miss, are you the supervisor of this location? There you have it, my people. Miss Riri, supervisor of the location, maybe. She got no answer for the public. Can I get two stamps? Not at this window, sir. Which one? You stand on the line, somebody will call you. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day, Miss. I didn't get your name, but it's okay. Thank you for the professionalism, you heard? Somebody gonna take that spot, you don't deserve it. Take your ass to McDonald's. Have a good day. There you had her, my peeps. What was her name? Miss Riri. <laughs> it looks like she called uh, <laughs> She called somebody and they put her ass in her place. They told her it's, it's, it's okay um, to record in there, you know? So she was feeling a little uncomfortable, but that's not what you're there for, man. Stop playing with us. Oh, we got the owner of the car here. The car's on, my peeps. How you doing? You work at the post office? No? Huh? Well, why are you recording? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? So why you told me you don't work at the post office when what you do? What are you doing? Why are you recording me? What are you doing? First of all, First of all, you too close. I'm too close? So why the fuck you came out the car for? You the one getting close. Move back. What are you recording me for? Who are you? I'll smack the shit out of that camera, I'll be wrong, right? <laughs> I'll pay you to do that shit. Yo. This is what we get, my peoples, at the post office. Oh, I'm here to inspect you, ma'am. All right? Make sure you move your car from the sidewalk. That's what you need to do. Get the fuck out my face. I'm telling you that right now. Or what? Yo, stop playing with me, my peeps. Look what we got over here. What's wrong with this lady, miss? No education. No education. No education. No education. Who? You. I'm gonna be here. Look in here. I'm gonna be here. Yeah, right. 
Stop playing with me, man. They look like they tight too. What was that, my peeps? There you go, that's the postal workers that we got out here. God dang! She gonna slap the shit out of me? She gonna smack the camera off my hands? What's going on in America? How you doing, brother? There's no complaining. I'm not gonna go in there and complain to her supervisor because you already know who the supervisor is. So it comes from the top, man. That, that, um, come on, man. What you doing, bro? What are you guys doing, bro? Stop playing with me, man. What is she doing? She parked on the sidewalk and she bossing and shit. Then she get out the car, walk towards the camera talking about I'm too close. doing here here as far as when these guys they oh listen listen i have a lot of people here i would like for you to explain to me how they treat you here and what's the how's the service like over here go ahead Good. brother hi my name is bobby Arizari. i live at uh west 153rd street uh jason from the um, post office we've lived here about 13 years now and we've noticed an extreme issue here um coming off of this mccombs bridge okay as soon as the green light comes these cars come speeding down here okay okay what's what's happening is that it's bad enough that we don't have a crosswalk here. okay okay so when they line up all these all these vehicles which are the pedestrians trucks, right it creates a blind spot i mean i've i've got it I've, i also have videotape of cars just coming down here and making a whip now, okay. when I'm in the middle here, yeah, yeah. Okay, they can't see me in back of this. No, because that's not blind. Truck. But if they come down there with intentions of making that U-turn, yeah. my, my kids and, and, and I are um, dead. As well as, as anyone in the community, right. you're and right. it creates blind spots, which is not right. Okay. If we're not allowed to park there as pedestrians, why should you guys? And, and look at this. This is them. another complaint that I have right here. What's this? Look, parking in the sidewalk. Right. Why would they be above the law? That that we could work with because I guess it's wide enough, and you have to understand of who they are and that they're trying to do their um, jobs. So Understood. We could work with that. Okay. We've done, we've done, we've done already spoke on this issue. 
Yeah. But the main issue is when you when it's detrimental to us, especially our kids. Kids, kids, yes. There's a lot of kids inside this neighborhood that are that are that are 10, 11, just having that responsibility of taking the bus on their own. Yeah, now, yeah. How about so it's very risky. Very, very risky. And it's putting this whole community. The community. At risk. I've called the postmaster. Mm -hmm. Got no time. You get no answer from the postmaster. Um, sir, we'll get back to you. We don't get back to us. I got everything on email. Uh huh. Okay, and it's it's just not. And you right. get no answer from no, them. No, there was a, there was a gentleman here a week ago, a dark skinned brother, mm -hmm. kind of kind of um, elderly. He tried to macho his way by saying, "Oh, um, we oh, um, we're gonna change. We're trying to get." This is 13 it's years, bro. Explain, explain. This is 13 years. And no changes. Nothing. No changes. But nothing. Again, How I lived right here for 13 years, man. How about the service inside? The service inside, the customer for care they, for what they have. They usually only have two tellers. Yeah, I see they have a lot of windows though. And they're diligent though. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I can honestly say that this is a post office that even if the line was ten deep, they're doing what they're going to be served within within a within a half an hour. A fair time, a fair amount fair, of time. A fair time. And so the treatment, the treatment is definitely good. All right. You know all right. what? What we have to understand as as being a patron is that is that is that they have a lot of work to do. Understood. They have a lot of numbers. They so we so we. There's a lot of stress on their back. Yeah. Right. So compared to what they're working with, they they they're definitely competent. You know that's not that's not the um, community um, issue. It's with these um, the, the park the vehicles. And they, they're parking all over. Understood. If you was to be here within another hour, like when I come back, I have to sit here and hold my kids back like this. Yeah. Just so the cars don't don't. don't oh don't God! Just yes, you don't get hit. Man, listen, it's it's. I pray every day that no that no kid, especially mine, do, doesn't doesn't become a victim of this. Oh yeah, you know, we I'm have to do something sweet. before it actually you happens. That's how I stopped you. Yeah, you know because this. You was this worried. Is, you were. I see you very worried about it. Yeah. Too much. I understand. You know? Listen, my name is Eli. I have a okay. YouTube channel. You could go and look for it. So where you're gonna see the video there, E L Y. Okay. I hold government employees accountable for their actions. Okay. This is what I'm doing. Your a message is gonna be heard all over the world by more than 16,000 people. All right. And good. most of them are interested. They will be calling this post office. They will be calling the postmaster and complaining about the the parking lot That's issue and the parking spot issue that you just explained. That's it was a pleasure, good. right? Thank e L Y on YouTube. Remember that, right? Okay. Have a good day, brother. On YouTube, yes. E L Y, you're gonna see me there. Have a great day, brother. Yeah, yeah, I understand, man. There's no crosswalks either here, right? And then this is over the speed speed. Over the speed limit, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Wow, take care, man. I wish you the best, all right? Thank you, Eli. Take care. Here we got the miss uneducated ma'am over here. She says she's gonna slap the camera off my hand, and if I'm here by the time she's come back, she's gonna slap the shit out of me. That's the education we have here at the post office. Do you have a supervisor? She's your supervisor? Yeah. I got to see that. Okay, okay. That's what we got here, my peeps. And she's just laughing like it's funny. I'll see you later. Huh? I'm here for you. Do not engage. That's a smart move. You heard that? Look at this shit, my people on the sidewalk about to hit. They can be careful. It's kids behind you, bro. It's crazy, my peeps. So this is the issue that the, the citizen over here was explaining to us about, my people. They can't walk. They can't go nowhere. And they're vulnerable to accidents. And about the education, you already saw it. I don't be slapping people like you. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't talk like you do. That's my job, miss. This is my job. I look dumb. Does it matter how I look? How do you look? How much you getting paid for what you doing right now? You don't want to know. You're going to quit if you know that. Yeah. Nah, I think you should pick out another job. She's going to keep looking stupid, bro. She's going to YouTube, you heard? Keep on, keep on, keep on. Keep on, yeah, you're going to YouTube. Keep on. Keep on, keep on. I'm, I'm talking to a, a, an employee of the post office. That's who I'm talking to. Without education. Keep on, keep moving. Without education? Yeah. I bet. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't engage, don't engage. But it's too late already, man. She don't say so much shit over here, bro. 
It doesn't matter? Who are you? She said it doesn't matter, my peeps, you heard? Wow, she said it doesn't matter. She cares less about the education, my peeps. About the treatment they give to the customers over here. Keep taking pictures on the clock. I'll speak to the postmaster. This is what they're talking about, my peeps. This is what they're talking about. I'll speak to the postmaster. What's your name again? I got it on camera anyway. No respect for us, my people. No respect for the customers. It's okay, though. Make sure y'all all see it. Don't look at me like that. What is going on, bro? God damn. They want to kill me, my peeps. I'm friendly. What's wrong with you? Shit. You eyeballing me and shit. What is wrong with all these people? Oh, man. Y'all being exposed all over the world, bro. Stop playing with me. There you have the name, my peeps. You have to learn how to interact with the community, miss. This is not the way to go. You work for the public, man. Look at this, my peeps. Would you like to introduce yourself? Huh? Yeah, I'm doing an investigation on the post office. I don't know, but to see how they behave. Yeah. I was sent over here by the people. By your boss. He'll be here once you see the video. Thank you. Thank you. Bring the postmaster here. He's gonna come. He gotta see the video though. By your boss. Who? What you talking about, man? Look at skinny boy. I'm working, brother. You got a problem with the camera? Who, you crazy as hell, man. Keep it moving, bro. Yo, keep it moving, my G. Get your weight up before you talk to me, bro. Get your weight up before you talk to me, bro. She's a lady, man. How she's backing you up? She's a lady, man, so she's not holding you from doing nothing. Come out here and do it. There you go. That's it. Don't let her hold you. Yeah. Yeah, don't let her hold you. Look at this. Look at this. How she could hold you, bro? Stop playing me. So go to work, bro. Chill, nigga. Yo, go to work, bro. Go to work, man. You ain't, you ain't even trying to do nothing, man. She's a lady, man. If you wanted to do something, you'd be here. Who? Come and what game, man. I'll see you on YouTube, nigga. Stop playing with me, bro. I'll see you all on YouTube, man. This is the behavior we have here at the post office, my peeps. Y'all already know. They work for the public, and this is the treatment they're getting. It's just a camera, miss. This is what I work. This is what I do. Why you hate me? I don't know why she hate me, my peeps. They doing something wrong. Only thieves hide from camera, you heard? And you suspicious as we speak. Sir, can you get off our property? Shut up. This is public property, you know man. It's not public property. Yeah, 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 keep it moving. What? Okay. I'm in the sidewalk, miss. I'm in the sidewalk. You want our property. This is Who? Property. So what you gonna do? Stop playing with me, man. It's a camera. You say hi to your family and you say hi to your customers. I'm on the sidewalk, my peeps. I'm on the sidewalk. Do not engage, she said. Why not? He could engage in a friendly way. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Come on, man. Don't be hiding away from the camera, bro. It's going to YouTube. It's going to YouTube. <laughs> She's bugging out. I don't know who she is, though, my bitch. You good, you good, G. <laughs> I yeah, she calling 911, my bitch. It's on. It's lit.
They don't feel uncomfortable. <laughs> she told 911 that her employees don't feel uncomfortable, my peep. I mean, don't feel comfortable. I could tell, man. I could tell. We got big issues here. That's crazy, my peeps. Damn, bro. Everybody hate me, bro, because I got a camera. What the f***? That's some bullshit, man. <laughs> Yeah, now she's calling the cops. The cops is going to come and educate her on the First Amendment. We can record in public. We're in the sidewalk, man. It's America. Freedom of press. Anybody could turn on a camera in the sidewalk. Nobody should tell them turn that shit off. What is this, man? This is not Nazi Germany, bro. It's America. <laughs> See, smart man. He don't even engage. That's a good thing to do. That's the best thing to do. Go ahead. Description. So they could come and shoot me. So they could come and choke me. Black jacket, blue jeans, yeah. So they could come and kill me because I got a camera. Go ahead. You gonna look so bad when they come, bro. You gonna be ashamed of yourself. Calling the police on a brother. It's just a camera. It's just a camera, bro. <laughs> Now they're going to choke me, bro. They're going to shoot me. Calling the police on a brother, my peeps. A sister calling the police on a brother. I'm causing a disturbance, he said. I bet you I wasn't. <laughs> she feels disturbed, my peeps. Let's just wait for the police. Crazy out here, my peeps. A lot of Karens, a lot of butt hurts over here. They must be doing a lot of wrong things, a lot of wrongdoing here, man. A lot of policies, regulations, rules, and laws broken back here, my peeps. And Shorty was milking the clock here, waiting for, for clock out time. That's why probably she got tight. It's just a camera, my peeps. Pray to God they don't shoot me, you hurt? It's gonna be on you if they shoot me. You hurt? It's gonna be on you and they shoot me. And on camera. Pray to God they don't choke me either. Sister. Calling the police on a brother for exercising his First Amendment in this country. Freedom of press. Stop playing with me, my peeps. <laughs> She's tight. She's tight. She's tight, my peeps. I'm waiting on the yeah, my nigga. Yeah, good looking out. You know what you know what this is about. I I good looking, be easy, G. He knows what this is, my peeps. He knows what this is. It's called the First Amendment of the Constitution. 
freedom of the press. We could record anything we could see from a public view, especially the sidewalk. You don't call police so I could get shot. This is my job. I'm working for you. I'm protecting your rights, our rights, to record in public, miss. All right, so just pray to God they don't come and shoot me because I got a camera because you called the, a police on a brother. Sister, stop playing with me, man. Thank you. Would you mind identifying yourself for the people? Nah, right? Disgusting what we got working here in this, in this post office, my people. Horrible attitude. She don't even know what to do, giving orders to, to ghost and shit. Mind you, I'm in the sidewalk, my peeps. Even though if I'm in there, this is funded by the public. This is publicly funded. We pay for this. She works for us. They work for us. And this is the treatment we get. Police called on us for recording them, for holding them accountable. Stop playing with me, my peeps. She gonna look stupid when the police come. I'll make sure I highlight that, that name over there. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna show you a picture, my peoples. Very unfortunate. Miss, what's your name? We could try it again, bro. I'm friendly. Can we be friends? <laughs> Not at this post office, my peeps. She needs to be repealed and replaced, bro. How you doing, brother? All right. All right. <laughs> So, like I was saying, my peeps, no education over here, man. They rude, they mean, they don't like transparency over here, man. They hate that you are the worst in the world if you got a camera over here, my peeps. Therefore, she called Popos. Still out boiling me shit. <laughs> what did I do wrong? People still complaining about this. About this, parking in the middle of the street. Y'all heard the gentleman. And then homeboy talk about he gonna do something, my peeps. The nigga ain't got no teeth, bro, so we can't knock him out. We're gonna have to knock the whole body down, my peeps. Hey, hey, see you tomorrow, man. Oh, tomorrow, right? oh, and then he talking about he gonna do something, but he got an old lady holding him back. How the old lady gonna hold you back like that? 
tell me that one, my peeps. If you really want to do something, <laughs> hold me, hold me. <laughs> All right, so let me just stop the camera to make sure I got battery and memory enough for when the boys in blue pull up, we could give them a, a quick and smooth educational instructions, you heard? Okay, we're back home. Let me see, still no pulpos. I heard the ambulance over there. I heard the sirens, but it was the ambulance. It's been about 25 minutes since. What we got here? Well, who's this now? What are we doing here, my peeps? And then the gentleman that was talking about um, the risk of the children. Let me tell you something, bro. I understand that they have a big sidewalk and it's fair, like you said, but that's not how it goes, my G. Nobody's above the law. You can't break the law, that means they can't break the law either, no matter what situation they're in. You hear me? If you cannot park in the sidewalk when you don't find the parking spot, they're not allowed, they're not entitled to do that either. You heard, my boy? But I understand where you're coming from. That still doesn't give them the right to park on the sidewalk, all right? You don't have the right, they don't have the right. Nobody's above the law, you heard, my peeps? All right. If you cannot park your vehicle there, they cannot park their vehicle there. Nobody's above the law. Police cannot park their vehicle there unless it's an emergency. Nobody is above the law. Doesn't matter the rank, the title, the position. We all equal, you heard? We all equal. Don't tell me the post office, they don't find parking spot. This sidewalk is big enough for them. Nah, none of that, man. If it's not big enough for you, it's not big enough for them. It's not allowed to do that, man. Nobody's allowed to do that, man. Period. Now, where the popos at, man? Because I'm, I'm, I'm heated already, my peeps. I'm heated. Where he at? <laughs> Woo! Stop playing with me, man. No matter where you come from, what rank you on, it don't matter that you retired from here. We do appreciate your service, homie. We thank you for your service. But you still not above the law, you heard? Stop playing with me. Especially you coming from Massachusetts, bro. Homeboy ain't even from around here. He parking on the sidewalk just because. We don't do those, man.
And I don't know why the Popos ain't here yet because two blocks from here we got the, the priest and from the from Hunger with the pink hair. Hunger with the pink hair in Chinatown. That priest is like two blocks down, my peeps. So if you call them up, they should be here like ASAP. But you already know how it is in New York, man. An hour or over. Before I leave, one question. Did you call the police? So I could wait? You're not even going to answer that? If you didn't call the police, I leave. But if you did, I have to wait, miss. Oh, she has no education, bro. Thank God she's not my mother or my grandma. Jesus. All right, so we're just going to give them a little more, my peeps. They don't come through. They're just not coming through. And we're out of here. You heard? I don't want to be a fugitive, my peeps. Take care, brother. Have a good day. See, that's the way to go, my peeps. That's the way to go. Hi, how you doing? Take care. Have a good day. Point blank, period. Come to work, clock in, clock out. Go home to your family. Safe and sound. Don't be fucking with camera guys, man. Especially not with me. <laughs>
Enjoy the rest of your day, brother. You too. Been working here long? Yeah. How many years? Fifteen. Fifteen? God bless you, you heard? Thank you. Fifteen years of service, my peeps. All right, my peeps. Ain't no popos here. Ain't nobody coming. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming she called her postmaster. So, um... Hopefully he educated her. So we're just gonna keep it moving. I've been here waiting for over an hour after she picked up that phone. So y'all already know, man, no education within the employees of this location over here. They need to work on them lights. The supervisor's not aware of the situation of the First Amendment situation, but she she's aware now. The, the first one that spoke to me at the window. Other than that, y'all already know. Stay tuned, hit the like button, join, subscribe. You already know. Comment if you like. If not, keep it moving. This is Eli. Shout out to Morocco. Shout out to USA. Shout out to Argentina. Shout out to Pakistan. Shout out to Iraq. Shout out to Puerto Rico. Shout out to Ecuador. Shout out to El Salvador. Shout out to Utah, shout out to Africa, shout out to Jamaica, shout out to the seven continents, and shout out to the world, my peeps. Eli. Subscribe to his service. We gotta get them up. Get them subscriptions, get them vibes up. I've been to jail 50 times, and 50 times I didn't do shit. Out of those 50 times, they gave me 50 deals of bullshit. And after all this happened, yeah, you see me, I'm fine. I had to start from zero more than 50 times. Right, let me see that shit, man. I'm from LA, let me see. Ooh, I'm from LA. Search that shit. Ah, no right shit. there, right there, the first one. Subscribe to my shit. Subscribe, though. Subscribe. We got you. Let me see. Subscribe right there. Subscribe to my shit. Already done. Oh. I don't fuck with dirty cops. You heard? They always pull up ready to take a man down. Why you call the cops on me? Why you calling the gang with the straps on me? Are you really?